Usually when it comes to MVP prediction time, my focus, mm -hmm. the story. Yeah. I love a story. I've listened to my co-hosts tell their picks, and they're each attached with a story. A story, a story, a story. What does a man need to an MVP? Well, it's pretty simple. You need wins, of course. That's never a problem for my guy. You need stats. Never a problem for my guy. You need primetime games. That's big. How about my guy with four of his first six games at night? But again, children, what you really need is a story. You need a saga. How about a story about a player whose life story is about being ignored? Whose career story is about having things taken from them, seeing things slip through his fingers, his crowning moments, his life's work, and now his teammates and his reputation. This is the story of an MVP who is cornered, surrounded, outgunned, and still wins. They take away his right arm. They take away his left arm. He will take their head. Ooh. Not enough weapons. To quote Thanos, fine. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Let's go. Let's go in the red. And yes, you drink this in. You drink in the red Josh Allen jersey. And you know the red Infinity Stone is the reality stone. And the new reality is that the NFL's most overrated player is the NFL's most valuable player. Josh Allen is your MVP, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Ooh. Let's go back to the table. <laughs> Let's do it. The odds are against Josh Allen. That's just the way he likes it. That's the reason he won't win the MVP. No, it's the reason he will. Diggs, Gabe, gone. Let's go to work. Wow. Let's go to work. This is a guy. Like red who, Infinity Stone. The yeah, NFL right. Network Reality. does a top 100 list, and he wasn't even in the top yeah. 10. Yeah, he's terrible. He's terrible. Overrated player, never done anything. He's done now. The whole reason he was good was Stefan Diggs. Did you know that? He was terrible before Diggs. He'll be terrible after Diggs. I think he will win the MVP of this year. He will have his best year. Let's go. Take it. Kyle, Take you it. know Take him. It. You know Josh Allen really well. You've said he has a lightness about him this offseason. What are you seeing differently? It's a whole new world, a whole new player. He's got a, a different vibe to him. He's got a different haircut. If I understand, he's doing swimmingly in his personal life, and that's great. That's his. Uh, I think that a couple of those exits, and by a couple, I mean one of those exits, lightens the burden on his shoulders. It makes him happier to go to work every day. It makes him happier to go to the stadium on Sundays. Four of the first six Bills games are on national television. Mm. We see these MVP races that get won in the first half of the season. The Lamar Jackson thing last year, we talked about it for a second, was just weird. He did not have a great story. He had already won MVP. He was already a made guy. Stats were not incredible at all. He was just this best player on the best team and kind of ran away with this thing. And Jim Nance is openly referring to him as the MVP in the last month of the season before it's even over. You get out ahead of this thing and you start to ride this thing, you can run away with it. You know what I, you know, I was going to say? You know what I love about this? Yeah. The Bills have never had an MVP quarterback before. Of course. The only Kelly one. never. Yeah, uh, O.J. Simpson and Thurman yeah. Thomas. Ah. Yeah. Quarterback. Yeah, that's cool. Had a quarterback, yeah. The story is so cool, and you said it with the losing of the right arm. Like, Gabe Davis and Diggs were very big. That means that you're expecting huge things from Kincaid, from Khalil Shakir, from Keon Coleman, Curtis Sim Like These guys all have to step up as well. You want to hear my comp? I got a comp. Okay, MVP comp. 2015 Panthers. Cam Newton, quarterback, prolific talent, Really nobody in the wide receiver room who's doing any damage at all. Great tight end play, yep. like the Bills have. Yep. Great running game. The defense shows up. A Sean McDermott defense. Yeah. And Cam Newton was just so ridiculously incredible and sensational. Willed running, them to throwing highlights. He carried them, and they dabbed all the way. They won't do dabbing anymore, but that's my MVP comp. We have four quarterbacks that we selected, three of them in the same division. That's right. <laughs> yes. Makes it Let's make take it a look spicy. at those. Let's Makes take a look at those. Spicy like a chicken wing. All right, so... Peter went first, and he chose Aaron Rodgers to win his fifth MVP award. Jamie Tua, and then, of course, we have Akbar with Jared Goff and me with Josh Allen. 
Does anybody want to? You want to change to Jacoby Brissett? We'll just do the whole AFC East. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We can look at the AFC East is the, the favorite. I just I, I went all the way on the other side. Huh? That's cool. I like it though. Jared Goff's a cool pick too. They're, they're in, guys. We're done. We're committed. Our MVP predictions now. Let's play football. It's happening tomorrow night.